Hi guys, I'm convinced that Talk TV is basically a mouthpiece for the Reform UK party. Because every time one of their members is invited on, they're given an unchallenged platform to talk absolute tripe. Case in point here, Alex Phillips, former member of the Brexit party, Nigel Farage's Brexit party, and now a member of Reform UK. Here she was providing her, or perhaps her party's solution, to the both problem. Have a listen to this. Really, I've, I've maintained all along that what we need to do, and I hate it when people say, well, that's inhumane, oh, poor things, you know, what's going to happen to them, is essentially turn back the boats. I can't see how it's inhumane because they've made it, you know, one half of the channel, making it the other half of the channel in either direction is surely going to carry the same amount of risk. And actually, if you're turning a boat back and escorting it to shore, then if it suddenly catches... Whoa, 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 <laughs> wait a minute. Escorting it to shore... Now, just think about this for a moment. Some people get on a boat, a dinghy, they travel across the channel, they get about halfway across, they arrive in UK waters, and they're intercepted by the Royal Navy, for example. What is the Royal Navy supposed to do in her scenario? Well, escort them back to France. So the, French, the, the Royal Navy would enter French waters... Well, they'd have to ask for permission to ent enter French waters, you know, otherwise you'd have an international inc incident. Maybe not, but potentially you could. But you would ask for permission and the permission would be, OK, why do you want to enter our waters? Because we want to turn back a boat, uh, a dinghy. Uh, why, uh, according inter into international law, if these people are in trouble, you're supposed to take them on board and deliver them to the safest, the, the, the safest, uh, the nearest safest area which obviously is in British water, so it's closer to Britain. <laughs> like, do these people actually think before they say, before they speak? So you have, well, we're going to cross from British waters into French waters without permission, I presume, because if you ask for permission, they say, no, that's not, you don't have permission. But even if the, like, if the French government say, no, you don't have permission, then what do you do? You go, well, to hell with that, we're going to France anyway. <laughs> then how would you dock? You need permission from the Port Authority. Like, do, do these people actually think before they actually speak? No, they don't. Besides, there's people on hand to make sure those people mm. are rescued. Yes. I certainly would be no advocate that lives should be willfully lost, lost at sea. Whatever their migration status, we're not an inhumane country. But also what we're not is some sort of portal mm. for everybody on planet Earth who doesn't like living in their country to think, fine, I can move to Britain. Very few people arrive in the UK to claim asylum. A very small percentage. This sort of rhetoric of this uh, narrative of all the world want to come to Britain. And unfortunately, you have members of the House of Commons, you have members of the government, you have the Home Secretary selling this lie, pushing this lie, that everyone wants to come to Britain. No, very small percentage. A, a percentage of the people who arrive in Italy arrive in France, and a percentage of the people who arrive in France arrive in the UK. It's not everyone. And frankly, if France isn't tackling this problem, if these people are coming from France, then it is a France originating problem. If they want to turn around and say, well, it's Germany, it's Belgium, it's all these other countries we share border with, and then blame, you know, the Schengen Acquis with open borders in the EU, fine, France can do that. But as far as we're concerned, we're an island, we're not in the EU, we're not in Schengen. These are people arriving illegally from France. We should send them back to France. It's very simple. It really is. And I hope. It really is. It's very simple. It's simple for stupid people. Of course it's simple. For stupid people. who pe People who don't understand international law. People who don't understand the law of the sea. People who don't understand immigration. People who don't understand uh, how asylum, the asylum process works. Who don't understand anything, it seems. Look, I don't know these things. I'm not an expert on these things. But my tiny knowledge seems to be infinitely more than Alex Phillips and the... The concrete farmer here who's like yeah of course it's simple if it's simple then why aren't they doing it can you imagine for a moment if the opposite happened if a, f a ship a french military vessel crossed into british water without permission arrived in portsmouth for example and started offloading people what do you think the british government would do what do you think alex phillips would say about that would you say well the, you know uh, well, you know, if they're if we're doing it to them, then they have every right to do it to us. No. 
And also, if you want to send people back, you have to have an agreement. You actually have to sit down with France and say, okay, we're going to work out an agreement. And you have to give France something. It's an, you know, it's a deal. It's an agreement. It's a contract. It's a, a negotiation. Okay, we're going to give you this if you take if you do this for us. But unfortunately, the UK government has been up holding its side of the bargain. It was saying, yeah, we're going to send you money, and then they didn't. And the French were, well, then we're not going to do anything. You have to pay up if you want us to do the work. Once again, people who have no understanding, less than me, okay, and that's terrible because I'm not an expert on these things. I know very little about maritime law. I know very almost nothing about international law or uh, asylum or how as the asylum process works. I know very little, almost nothing. And these people know less than that and they go unchallenged. Insane. Sorry for my shouting, but this is just drives me around the bend. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.